so welcome everyone to our first ever VIP World Assistive Tech lesson. Uh, my name is Ali, uh, and I'm very happy to introduce our Assistive Tech tutor, Nicole Moore, who will be leading this session on accessing YouTube with NVDA. So over to you, Nicole. Thanks, Ali. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to this first session. Um, so a little bit of back background about myself. Uh, I'm Nicole, originally from Australia, but now based in London for the next few years at least. Um, I've had quite a bit of experience in teaching assistive technology to people with vision impairment, and I also have a vision impairment myself, so I've got the kind of user perspective of all this technology as well. Um, so today we're going to talk through um, and demonstrate how you might use uh, NVDA to browse YouTube. And we wanted to start today um, by asking you all, have you ever had um, an instance where you, a funny instance or something interesting that happened uh, where you weren't able to use YouTube or something happened while you were trying to use it or any other video tool, of course. Uh, is there anything anyone would like to share of their kind of experience to date with YouTube? Yeah, well, actually, initially when I lost my sight, uh, for me it was all of a sudden, you know, I was normally sighted on probably 24th of June, on 25th of June morning. Um, I, I had uh, sight until afternoon and then before the evening I gone blind. It slowly was stepping down and that night I was blind. So it, so that's why I, I took a long while to accommodate. So um, I used to use the computer very much the sighted way and then suddenly I, I found lost. And um, at that stage, I did not know where to go, whom to approach and a lot of struggles. So that, those days were dog days, but slowly, Mm, I sometimes I ask my friends or my family to click on or do something, start something. I wouldn't be able to do anything. But later on, slowly I went for these classes and all that. Now it's okay. I'm not hundred percent confident, but I can search for most of the things on YouTube. Um, yeah. Great. Um, and. Anyone got any types of videos they like to watch? Uh, I like to watch like biographies and uh, like um, documentaries and stuff like that. Mainly like videos about like biographies and some about like how it is in prison. I don't know why I find that interesting, but yeah. Yeah, so there's so much you can do with YouTube. Um, if you haven't used it before, we'll just go through a bit of a, what is YouTube and why would I want to use it? So YouTube is essentially um, a big library of um, videos. So anybody basically can create what's called a channel and then start uploading videos and they can be anything from documentaries to how-to videos. Um, I don't know about you all, but I've been doing lots of exercise, like workout type videos these days in lockdown with YouTube or on YouTube. So yeah, huge variety, like down to comedy as well. So there's basically something for everyone um, on YouTube. Um, so the other thing I wanted to point out is that um, you might say, well, you know, YouTube is videos. How would they apply to me? Um, and that is a good question because um, I guess for most of us, we would be relying on the audio from the videos. Um, so there are certainly some videos um, that are audio described so that narrate what's happening visually so that you, you don't miss anything. Um, but yeah, essentially for VIP, vision impaired people, um, YouTube is mostly about the kind of audio experience. So um, yeah, when you're searching for videos, it can come down to how good 
um, the audio is for you to know what's happening in videos and enjoy them. But yeah, there are more and more um, audio described videos being done. So um, yeah, that's certainly a positive thing. Um, any questions so far or comments? No? Fabulous. Um, I wanted to go through some of the modes or ways that you can access YouTube. So there are a few different ways. Um, so the one we're going to go through today is using a web browser. So that's opening up the internet um, and accessing it um, through youtube.com. But there are also smartphone apps. So for iPhone and Android devices, and you can also access YouTube videos these days on smart TVs. So um, if you've got access to a smart TV, you can stream your videos straight to that um, and watch them on the TV screen. Um, and you know, smart TVs have um, a screen reader built in, so you can um, yeah, do a YouTube search and um, watch videos that way as well. So, for today's session, um, we're going to go through how to search uh, for YouTube videos using MVDA and Google Chrome. So, yeah, I want this to be quite a relaxed session. We'll go step by step. Um, I will actually share my screen and my audio with you all, so you'll be able to hear what I'm doing as I go, and I'll talk through some of the keystrokes or shortcut keys that I'm pressing on my keyboard um, so that you'll have an idea of uh, how I'm searching and then playing videos. Um, and following that, we're going to give you a bit of time, if you'd like to, to uh, search for and play a video of your choice just to put um, or try and put some of your the skills that we've spoken about today um, into practice. Um, and we'll do a bit of a recap at the end. So is everybody ready to start the demo? Ready. Yes, yep. we are. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, I'm going to demonstrate today with NVDA and Google Chrome. But just to let you know that if you do use um, JAWS or even Windows Narrator, uh, the, a, a lot of the commands that I will go through are the same. So um, it, it's a pretty similar experience. So I will now share my screen and my audio with you all. And do let me know as well if the speech is um, too fast or too slow and we can adjust that so you can um, understand. Uh, could Ishan or Ali give me permission to share please? Of course, I just uh, gave you the... Oh, perfect. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to hit the share sound button so you're going to get my speech. Um, Alright. Meeting controls when. Okay, so I'm now sharing my screen and I'm going to go and open up Google Chrome. Start window. So I'm just Sur going to the start window, typing in the first few letters of Chrome. Google, Google Chrome. And it, app. Nvidia has found it, so I just hit enter. New tab dash Google Chrome. Address and search bar edit has auto complete control plus L address. Okay, oh. and I'm now in the address bar and I can type in www.youtube.com selected YouTube clickable okay. banner now I've just hit the control key to silence NVDA what most screen readers particularly on Windows will do is just start reading from the top of the page um, and so that can be quite confusing but always hit your control key and that will stop the, the screen reader from talking and then you're able to explore the page. So we're now on the YouTube home page. Toggle button. And I can navigate this page by heading. Um, so it's as if you're kind of previewing the page. So if somebody was glancing, um, say in a visual way, down a page, 
A similar thing that someone using a screen reader can do is press the H key and it's going to cycle through all the headings on the page for me so I can get a sense of um, what is there. And in this case, we've got the YouTube homepage and we've got a series of videos at each heading. Um, and because I have a YouTube channel and I spend quite a bit of time on YouTube, uh, it will list um, on this particular page the uh, videos that I've recently been watching or similar. So if I actually, first of all, just making sure that the, the sighted people among us can see my screen. Yes. Cool. Yes. yes. Great. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm going to press the H key and it will jump to the first heading on the page. Main landmark clickable my podcast equipment setup and tour by DBT podcast with Ben Futrell four years ago, nine minutes, 40 seconds, 94,526 views link my podcast equipment setup and tour heading level three. I'm going to hit the control key to stop that, but that was basically a video title, uh, the duration of the video, how long ago it was created and also it read out the channel as well. So if you're wanting to explore, um, yeah, excuse me, uh, Nicole, I mean, I've, I have started on my, I mean, I'm listening to you on the Apple phone. And then I started, uh, I, I started my page in Google, uh, probably I didn't go to YouTube, but, uh, I just, I just, uh, do the, I, I bring out the links list and then I click on YouTube, is it? Yeah, or well you can go up to the address bar. So if you press Alt plus D. Yeah, yeah it is um, in the address bar, yeah. Yeah, and then you type in um, either YouTube.com yeah. and hit enter and it should take you there. Oh, okay, YouTube. Okay, okay, you carry on. Sorry to trouble you. Um, no problem. Um, and questions are always good. So if you do have them, just feel free to, to stop me at any time. Um, so the other quick way to get to the search bar, especially in YouTube, is to press the letter E. So if I go up to the top of my page. Banner land. Okay. Toggle button not. Uh, so I'm at the top now and if I just press E. Search landmark search edit search. Okay, so NVDA waffles a little bit, but it said search landmark edit search. Um, this is where you could type in um, some keywords, so relating to a video that you want to find. Um, it could be, uh, yeah, that if you know the name of the video or the channel, you can type that in there. There's also another really cool option for searching, and it is... Button, clickable button, search with your voice. Search with your voice. So what you can do is uh, hit enter on this button and uh, allow your microphone access and then you can just speak uh, what you'd like to search for. So that's a really good way of searching as well and I've been experimenting with it lately and it it's, does quite good with picking up your voice and giving you accurate or fairly accurate search <coughs> results. So basically um, I can go search back land to that edit box um, and if I hit enter, you'll hear a sound. Banner landmark. Um, and that sound indicates that I can now type into the search field. Um, so I'm now in that field and I can type um, some keywords. If I want to get out of that search field, I would hit escape on the keyboard. So the top left of your keyboard. Um, and what Before, is the key to get there? Is it uh, Control plus E, or what? What is the uh, key? No, just the letter E. So if you just, oh, press just the letter e, e, it should yeah. it will jump to basically any edit field on the page. Yeah, um, yeah, so check and, it. Yeah, okay. and that means that you like you could use your arrow keys um, to navigate all the way down to that search box, but it's quite time consuming. Yeah, it's um, yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that's in, uh, entirely possible, but yeah, the quick way, if you know that the search field is there, uh, you can just hit letter E, uh, okay. and it will jump straight to it. If you're further down the page, if you hit Shift E. Um, it'll come okay. back up to that edit field. And the same with your headings as well. So hitting H 
goes down the page through all the headings and shift plus H go uh, yeah. yeah goes back up so yeah really um, good keystrokes to know clickable search landmark so search edit search I'm going to type in a search term here we will type in David Attenborough liar bird okay so I've typed in my term and I'm going to hit enter main landmark clickable search filters toggle okay I can filter the search if I want to by category um, but I just find the more specific you can be with your keywords that seems to be quicker um, but just know that those filters are there and the way you would get to them uh, is by using the arrow keys so if you down arrow from your search edit field um, you'll land on a filter link blank okay so we now have some search results um, NVDA doesn't always call out the heading of your page um, but if we hit insert or caps lock it might be in your case insert or caps lock and T David at Hunborough liar bird dash YouTube dash Google Chrome okay so that read out the key terms um, that I searched for which are also in the title bar so yeah insert T or caps lock T um, will tell you which page you're on now I can hit my H key to jump to the first video on the page clickable at Hunborough colon the amazing liar bird sings like a chainsaw now in high quality bar BBC Earth by BBC Earth 11 years ago two minutes 58 seconds 9,096,619 views link at Hunborough colon the amazing liar bird sings like a chainsaw okay now in so um, that's just repeating itself there I'm not sure why but uh, that gave you the title of the video um, as well as that it's from BBC Earth um, how long ago it was made and the number of uh, viewers I think but um, if we arrow down heading level 3 link earth 11 years ago okay. 2 minutes 58 seconds 9096600 the last bit of that heading it's kind of for NVDA it goes over two lines clickable button action menu okay i've got um, an action menu 9m views bullet 11 years ago and so if you weren't sure what all that information was in the heading just arrow down and you'll be able to read that um, 9 M. it had 9 million views and it was made 11 years ago link go to channel um, and then the next arrow down is a link called go to channel and so that would take you to the BBC Earth channel clickable link BBC Earth okay so let's um, open this video so i'm going to press shift h to come back to my heading at hunborough colon the amazing liar bird sings like a chainsaw okay i'm going to stop it there by hitting the control key because we don't need to hear all that again i'm going to press enter to open the video up or the video page visited visited Thanks. the most beautiful song in the world i guess there are lots of contenders we'll just watch this, this video. bird must be one of them the superb liarbird of South Australia. He clears a space in the forest to serve as his concert platform. To persuade females to come close and admire his plumes, he sings the most complex song he can manage. And he does that by copying the songs of all the other birds he hears around him, such as the kookaburra. It's a very convincing impersonation. Even the original is fooled.
he can imitate the calls of at least 20 different species. He also, in his attempt to outsing his rivals, incorporates other sounds that he hears in the forest. That was a camera shutter. And again. And now a camera with a motor drive. And that's a car alarm. And now the sounds of foresters and their chainsaws working nearby. Okay, so that was a, a video of the Australian lyrebird and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that one. It's quite fascinating uh, how birds can imitate loads of different uh, noises in the environment. Um, so just a couple more things before we uh, do a bit of a practical activity of searching for a video. Banner um, I just came back a screen um, just to easily stop that video so that you wouldn't hear the screen reader um, or any other videos playing. Just uh, a note that as soon as you hit enter on a video heading, uh, when the page loads, the video will start playing. Um, so just to, to make you aware of that. Also, um, you can, there are two kind of tiers of YouTube. So there's the free version and what's called YouTube Premium, um, which is a paid uh, subscription version of YouTube. Um, and with the free version, you do get ads that pop up. So yes, yeah, sometimes you'll have ads playing before videos. Um, there is a button to um, skip an ad, but sometimes you might have to wait about 10 or 15 seconds before um, it, you'll be able to skip it. Um, and this leads me to talking about the video player. So I'm just going to go back into that video we just heard and hopefully we can Flex, stop it. Visited. So I'm going to hit my heading level dead. one, heading uh, H key, sorry. Main landmark. And I'm arrow up to Click the stop a, button. Button next left, button pause left pause. for end. Play okay. left. Um, all I did there was hit my H key, jump to the heading, and then the video player um, is kind of above, um, for a screen reader user at least, above that first heading. So if you arrow up, you'll get to all the video player controls. Um, a couple of things I want to mention. So you've got a play and pause button. So um, it's like a toggle. So when there's nothing playing, it'll be the play button. When you've got a video playing, it's pause. Um, seek sliders. You've also got what we call the seek slider. Um, and this is really good because if you've got a long video, you can go in there and fast forward or rewind. So if I up arrow to the seek slider. Seek slider slider zero minutes 32 seconds of two minutes 57 seconds. Okay, so we're now at 32 seconds. If I hit enter. Seek slider slider zero minutes 32 seconds of two minutes 57 okay, seconds. And then I can hit the right arrow to go forward through the video. Zero minutes 37 seconds of. By five second increments or the left arrow to go back through the video. Zero minutes 30. Also, when I'm in this um, seek slider, I can hit um, some shortcut keys. So the shortcut key to play and pause is the letter K. So if you press the letter K on your keyboard while you're in the seek slider, you have to be um, have gone to it and hit enter on it. So yeah, it can be a little bit tricky to find. Um, so often I'll find it easier just to hit the, the play or pause button just on the page itself rather than going into the slider. But if you're in there, then the letter K 
will play or pause your video for you. Um, so once you are done in there, you can just hit escape to come back out to the page. Button play. All right. Um, there's a few other options in the video player. Button next left paren. Shift plus N right. right. We've got a next button. So that would advance to the next video. If you're in a playlist um, situation where you've got some saved videos. Button mute We've left paren. We've also got a mute video if you ever need to, to mute the sound. Um, Clickable zero colon 32. And it just tells us where we are at uh, in terms of the timing of the video. Button autoplay is off. Now it's saying that autoplay is off. But yeah, I'm not sure Chrome and YouTube are being a bit funny at the moment for me. So it does autoplay even though it's it's off for some reason. Button um, autoplay is off toggle button not press subtitle slash. Okay. And you've also got options in this uh, player controls for subtitles and captions as well. Um, with MVDA, uh, when you've got a group of buttons um, that are red all together, you can press the tab key and it will go um, from one to the next. So at the moment, Cl button I'm auto play. On autoplay, but if I hit tab, subtitle slash closed captions left paren. Captions. Settings menu and then button the sub menu, menu settings. And I can hit enter on any of those to um, to go into those. Mini player left We've paren. also got a mini player and a theater mode, um, which you probably won't need to worry too much about, but basically um, you can do like a full screen video or minimize the player a little bit. Um, but yeah, if, if you're using a screen reader, you probably won't need to, to use any of those buttons. Um, so yeah, that's essentially searching for a video and playing it. Um, so opening YouTube, uh, pressing the letter E or using the search by voice function, typing in your key terms and hitting enter, exploring um, the search results with your H key for heading. Once you've found the one you want, hit enter, the video will start playing. If you need to pause it, um, you can hit that H key and then arrow up and you, sh you should come across the pause button and hit space or enter on it. Um, so yeah, that was a really, probably quite a detailed run through. But uh, yeah, if, if you'd like to take a few minutes now to uh, search for a video yourself, feel free. We'll give it about five minutes. And feel free to ask any questions along the way as well. <clears throat> oh, okay. <sighs> so when I see, I I I have done up to going to the YouTube, and then I proceed to go to the search bar, and then I type in the video I want, and then um. Hit enter on it, is it? And then yeah, that's right. I, and then, I yeah. do the HH -H to find out the heading I want. Yeah. yeah. And then hit enter on the heading which I want to listen, is it? Yes, exactly. Okay. And after that, I mean, I got lost. What? So the after it's been opened, I do the up arrow key to take me to the controls of the video. Thing. Yeah, so go down to the heading. So press H to get to the first heading on the page and then arrow up um, to get to the player controls. Okay, so when I go on to the, down to the heading yeah. and I I hit enter on it or no? No, just arrow back up to find the Okay, button. okay. So right, okay. That's strange. Um, hold on. So when 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 I'm on a heading, automatically the computer, uh, when I go up again, it takes me to the video controls, isn't it? So, yes, yes, that's what uh, it should yeah, do. Okay. 
and supposing i didn't like the first heading and i keep on going and i stopped where i like the heading it could be third or fifth or something and at that stage i arrow up which will take me to the video control so say any heading and on that um so once oh no 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 found... each time i do hh yeah not up arrow down arrow yeah hh yeah. hh hh then it will take me to the one heading one after the other if i want to go back to the previous heading shift and h yes yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah <laughs> so what, what what was the shortcut key you told for the pause or something is it k um yes but you need to be in the clickable um, button mute in the video controls. button next button play is left seek slide seek slider so if you keep arrowing up you'll find seek slider okay press enter on that okay while i am in the seek slider i have to use yep. k you can it. hit k to play or pause oh right okay that is so strange how are you going i open youtube I open youtube.com and it come up to the upload a video. Okay, let's see. Now, let's see. Okay. Nicole, I have a question, uh, Ola speaking. Is there any feature on the YouTube uh, which is not accessible? Um, Did you encounter something like this? It's, uh, I don't think it's uh, a matter of being inaccessible, but sometimes the web version can be a bit convoluted. Like you heard it reading out, like repeating the heading content and um, yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes links are read over two lines, which can be a bit confusing as well. Um, I can't think of any inaccessible parts of YouTube. For example, sharing a video. Uh, there is a button uh, sharing uh, video content and you can click uh, this uh, button and share the content uh, with uh, friends, for example. Yes. Uh, have you ever used this? Yes. Yeah, that can definitely be Okay. Done. So it's it okay. That. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, sharing, saving to playlists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. All quite accessible. Okay. I don't think the subtitles are accessible though. I don't know because I don't use them. Yeah, that's a good point. I have had them work once and it was just, I don't know how it happened, but yeah, uh, I think Jaws was reading out um, the the captions and the subtitles for a video. I don't know how it, uh, I got it to work, but um, yeah, and it'll only get better as well. Um, you know, YouTube, have, yeah, designed a pretty accessible website. And um, yeah, more and more people are starting to do audio description, which is excellent for us. All right, how did we all go with that search? Did, did you? Were you able to play a video? Any questions or comments? Yeah, I was able to play it. I had to go out of the, the account menu because for some reason, it uh, when I went to youtube.com, it brought me to where I had last uploaded a video. And right. yeah, that was interesting. Um, yeah, so on accounts, um, all you need to create an account is um, an email address. And creating an account means that you can upload your own videos if you'd like to, or make comments on um, people's videos or participate in chats. So sometimes uh, some people on YouTube will do like live sessions uh, where it's a live video and you can comment um, and chat in, in text form. Um, but yeah, you do need to have a channel um, to be able to do that. It doesn't mean you have to upload videos, but you have to have a, a YouTube channel. And having a channel also um, allows you to save um, videos to what, what's called your library. 
Um, it also allows you to subscribe to channels. So subscribing to channels means that you will be notified when um, new videos are uploaded on a particular <coughs> channel. So for instance, um, I follow the body coach, um, Joe Wicks, and do quite a lot of his workouts on YouTube. Um, and so, yeah, I get notified every time he puts a new workout up and I can just easily um, access it through my notifications. Um, yeah, you, you know, I was trying to do the YouTube one, but what happened was after I had gone to the YouTube, then I want to go to the edit box again to type in David Attenborough, but somehow it's not happening. It, it, after some time, it keeps saying YouTube only on the search edit box. It's not, it's not uh, going. I think I'm happens? doing something wrong there, I think. I'm uh, just trying to figure out where you are. So if you hit escape, um, yeah, right? just to let make me, sure you're... Yeah, let me take off the off. headphones and I will do... Escape. Sorry yes. for jumping ahead. Oh, I have done it twice now. Okay. That's okay. So now if you press E, it should jump you to the search box. Search and combo YouTube. Yes. Uh, so what party. you've done there is you've actually typed in YouTube into the search box. Okay. So if you press enter, uh, yeah. and then you might be able to hit the backspace, backspace key to delete. Or you should be able to type over. G. Just G. Type over it. Oh yeah, it's not working, is it? Um... Yeah, I just press the space bar to move yeah. to the, you know, um, to do the so surname and it just went somewhere else. Yeah, it's still saying YouTube. Um, Shall I close space? Start yeah, you could close Google. it. Um, or you could hit the space bar and then use your arrow keys to see what Please. content. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh. Space. Space and then start typing again, um, is it? I don't think you're in the search box though. If you press E again. E. Oh no, you must be in the search box. Sorry. Um, can you okay. arrow left of the Yeah, it says search at it combo. Yeah. It's again saying YouTube now. It's still saying YouTube. Um, Clickable. Let me just quickly check what mine Banner. says. But I... Search landmark search combo box has auto complete editable David at Hunborough. Lo okay, that's my previous search. Um, Shall yeah, I close and start to, from the Yeah, Google maybe again. that would be the best way and then it will forget what you already put profile, in there. Yeah, now it says address and search for edit. Yep, so, so shall you I... type in youtube.com. YouTube search from history, press O, select it to you. E, so you select E, select E, YouTube, period, C, O, select. And, and then just hit enter. Yes. Com, enter, selected, YouTube.com, YouTube dash Google Chrome, group start home, YouTube, group start home. Then now E, is it? Yes. Ramping the top, edit. Yeah. And um, should I have to enter before I type uh, in? Yes. Google enter. Okay, yeah, I have the click noise, so I say. D, A, A, D, David. Um, What's the surname? How, how is it spelled? A double T. E E E. Yeah. E N. N. B O R. O R O. O U G H. E H. Enter. So now do H H yeah. Um. Yeah. Try it. It doesn't sound like it loaded the page again. Yeah, it hasn't. Oh. Okay, let me see. Um, We've got about 10 minutes oh, left, but what I'll do, Devaki, oh, is look button. into I think it's, it's, it's asking working. me to sign in, I think. Sign and click. Oh, thanks button. <laughs> uh, yeah, Google does some random things. I guess just hit that no thanks button. Oh, thanks, <laughs> that might go oh, away. Thanks yeah, I think, I think uh, I have to, if I'm doing it on the mobile, my Google is always signed in. So yes. that's why possibly it's uh, asking me to sign it. Yeah. yeah, it could be. 
So um, that's why it got stuck in YouTube, I think. Otherwise, it might have moved. Yeah, I got, I yeah, got it. Possibly. But yeah, um, if you try again, let us know, you know, if there yeah, are yeah, issues yeah, and we'll yeah, yeah. talk through them. Um, so yeah, channels are a really good way of keeping track of um, videos. So you can save um, playlists of mm -hmm. like videos that you want to watch if you do a search, but you don't have time to watch them um, in the moment. Or um, yeah, you can view like a history of the videos you've watched in the past. So quite a lot of the time, um, I, I got a new um, air fryer, like a kitchen gadget um, last year. And I was reviewing um, different, like what to get because there's so many different ones out there. And so I used YouTube to look at like different people's demonstrations of them. And yeah, so it's really cool for that, that sort of stuff as well. Um, so yeah, almost anything um, you'll be able to find on YouTube. Um, Clickable button, skip, navigate. Now, um, the way that uh, I just want to explain how some of the, the tabs work. So once you've created a channel, um, you'll have a few different uh, tabs or MVDA or screen readers refer to these as tabs on the page. Again, these are above the main heading. So we'll need to explore um, to find them by either using the tab key or the down arrow key. So I'm at the top of the page at the moment. I'm going to arrow down. Search landmark search combo box. So I've got my search box. Button search, clickable button search with your voice. Clickable button create. That create button is where I can um, upload videos. Clickable button YouTube apps. I can go to that link to um, find YouTube apps. So for smartphones and that sort of thing. Clickable button notifications. Notifications, I would go in there to find um, notifications of when videos that, or, or um, channels that I'm following have posted videos. Clickable menu button, sub menu All account. Right, there's an account menu, we won't go into that today. Main landmark to clickable you... complimentary landmark YouTube video player. Uh, Blank, actually, clickable like button, why this ad? Let me go back. I'm just going to hit Alt and Main and landmark arrow to go back to the YouTube homepage. Sorry about that. Banner visit. Okay, am I going button. to arrow down? Click past clickable the button box, create. Clickable button YouTube. Links, click clickable menu. navigation tab trending. Now, here is the first um, tab, tab home. So I've got a home tab. Tab trending. Trending tab. Tab subscriptions. Subscriptions. Now these are the channels that I have subscribed to. Tab library. My library is where I can find all my videos um, and my history and videos that I want to watch later. Main landmark clickable link toggle button not press search filters. Okay, and then I've got my search filters so uh, I can use those. But yeah, these tabs are always um, at the top of search pages or youtube.com homepage. Um, and you can just hit um, the space bar or enter on any one of them to um, open, say, your subscriptions or your library. And then exactly the same concept as before, um, you would press your H key to cycle through all the headings. Um, and you've got things in your library. Uh, I think there's a few different headings in there for um, uh, like your, your history list or different categories of videos um, or videos to watch later. You can also create playlists and you'll find those in that library as well. So exactly the same concept as we used um, in the search results, hitting the H key till you find the category you want and then the video you want, hit enter and the video will start playing. So yeah, um, I'm conscious that that was probably quite a lot of information, but does anyone have any questions about anything we've covered so far? No? So you're all professional at searching for videos now? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, so yeah, give, give searching a go. Um, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you could think about um, creating one. And uh, yeah, so you can save all the videos that you watch. Actually, one more thing uh, that I haven't covered just yet is the share 
feature and we've got about five minutes. Um, Ali and Ishan, am I okay to just do this for like literally a minute? Yeah, please. Cool. So I'm going to go back to our original David Attenborough video. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Yeah. Visited link, main, click, button, mute, button, next, left, button, pause, okay. play, left, per Now, we're in the video player screen. I can hit H to go to that first heading. At Hunboro colon, the amazing liar bird sings like a chainsaw. Okay. Up next um, heading I'm level, button, to... link, HTTPS. This is a commercial channel from okay. B. At Hunboro. Starting again from that first heading. So I hit my H key once and then I can arrow down. I'm going to get to a description of the video. Nine clickable toggle After button not 198k clickable talk 2.4k clickable button share. But before I do that, there's a share button. So uh, the way I found that is from the heading using the down arrow button till I get to share. Clickable button cancel. And I hit enter on that and a dialogue comes up. Heading level two share. And I've got a heading level two share. If I just keep arrowing down, I've got a few different options. List clickable button embed. I can embed um, the link, which means to um, add it to a web page. Clickable button. Clickable edit read only um, https colon slash slash you dot b slash msb seven. Video, um, which I can copy. And if we keep arrowing down, the next link. Clickable button, button copy. Sorry, is copy. Um, and so I can hit enter on that. The link is then copied to my clipboard and I can paste it into like an email or a message or um, to, to share it with somebody. So that's the way you would um, share the link. To get out of this dialogue, I need to arrow up to the close button. At list click heading level two share, clickable button cancel. Oh, sorry, cancel. So arrow up to the cancel button and hit enter button share and I'm back to the the main screen the other thing just really really quickly share is you can like or dislike videos blank clickable so, button save to playlist we've got a save to playlist button save clickable button more actions got more actions. clickable link you cwm's clickable channel link clickable 9.15 M's button subscribe to BBC and Earth. Can subscribe and all I'm the doing here is just um, hitting the down arrow key. YouTube channel and meet this your planet. Is dot information about the YouTube channel. Dot dash provoking and ed blank dramatic. Subscribe to be the first to view blank for more brilliant Earth unplug blank. David looks at this okay. amazing shutters. Link HTTP colon slash slash history exclusives and fantastic okay. blank. This is a commercial channel from BB link eight button heading level 212 button collapsed button show heading clickable clickable button collapsed sort comments. All right, and here I come to some comments. I might have skipped over the like and dislike buttons. Clickable like this comment along with like comment. clickable sword comments. Show more button. Subscribe to be clickable more actions but clickable save to Another playlist really button. Another really quick tip um, is if you know that things are buttons, you can hit letter B for button or shift B to go back up the screen via each of the buttons. So yeah, I'm just not finding that Clickable like. share button. Clickable moment, dislike oh, this video further up I missed it clickable okay. like this video so, along with 198,002 like or, or dislike um, the, the video here as well so yeah really powerful tool um, it can I, I guess with any um, you know software program like this or web page or anything that you do with a screen reader the more you use it and get familiar with like where things are um, the easier it's going to be um, to sort of navigate. One really, really quick tip I want to share with you as well, just final one, I promise, is um, how to find a word or a, a bit of text on a page. So for instance, um, if you know what uh, button you're looking for, you can use the find command, type that text in, hit enter, and MVDA or whatever screen reader you're using will jump to that particular text on the page. So it means you don't have to think about where is this thing that I'm looking for on the page. Um, so Banner landmark. if I go up to the top again, I'm going to hit uh, control 
with F. Find in page at Hunborough colon. Okay. The amazing. It said find in page, and I can just type in um, like. Re re result one. Result one of five. Okay, and hit enter. Result two of five. Like. Previous next close find okay, bar close button. It, at Hunborough colon. Toggle but visited link YouTube home. Oh, it hasn't done what I needed it to do, but normally uh, it would jump straight to that particular text um, mm -hmm. on the page. So really good to, to find something if you're just not quite sure where it is, but you know the, the label for it. So um, you did it. Yeah. I mean, that the, the, the text, text yeah, it, you, uh, it, it, this highlight is here. Away. Yeah. But there are a lot of like words here, so maybe that's true. Right. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's the end of the kind of formal webinar today. But um, feel free if you've got any more questions or comments, we can discuss yeah. them quickly now. When will we receive this one? The the recording. Yeah, we, we can put the recording in the, um, uh, we can upload it on the YouTube and put the link in the group. But yeah. if you register with us um, with the email, Devaki, we can also, we'll also send emails. Okay, I will register with the email, yeah. Yeah, because I want to practice it before the next session so I can come back with, you know, today I had some difficulties. So I'll go stepwise and see how I. I believe I have registered with both Goals my wrote. emails without realizing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I think you have, James. James, uh, oh, if you can remind me your email. The Outlook one is the one I use the most. I don't really use my Gmail one that much anymore. Yeah. James, 798 at Outlook. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gary, I don't. I I think you're on mute. You have to unmute yourself. Um, basically, it's a button on the left. But uh, anyway, I have a question. Um, if you don't mind, um, I was wondering, how do you? How do, have you seen this bird? The one you showed, Nicole. Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I did not even think that was even possible. No, Yeah, but it's real. So thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, it's real. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, Gary, do you have any questions? Sorry, you, you... Um. Well, I can find them. The find a moot. Oh yeah, you you were not able to find them. You there, you got it. Yeah, we can hear you now. Oh yeah, see that's it. Sorry. No, um, yes, it was um, yes, but it's mainly for um, it had it had a lot um a computer working with. Then yeah, it'd be right. But I know I'm using the phone, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we could do a further session on how to access YouTube with a smartphone if people are interested as well. Um, yeah, but then yeah, you need, do that. you need, um, then, yeah, you can, yeah, I'm going to need that, but then you have to have a screen in to see you, see you doing it. <clears throat> yeah, cool. Well, yeah, this is how it goes, yeah. Another time. I need to add, I need to add a few links to my YouTube channel with my Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook pages. Uh -huh. I mean, please do share with us your YouTube channel, by the way, James. Love to, love to have a look. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. Um, I've, I've actually been practicing, you know, vocals for, for three years. Um, and when I first started, it was so frustrating because I mean, for one, I I used auto tune heavily, which I cringe every time I go listen to an old cover that I use auto tune with. And uh, compared to now, you know, 
I barely use auto tune anymore. And uh, I've gotten uh, like the style that I do is more heavy than what I used to do. Um, I went from doing country to more heavier stuff. If you like Metallica, James, uh, I just saw that it's the anniversary of Metallica's Master of Puppets album. Yeah, actually, I actually plan on doing a Metallica cover here soon. Um, the only one that I really have practiced with is um, Nothing Else Matters. Mm. Yeah. Great song. Yeah. Yes, so, yes, please do share it with um, with us, the YouTube link, uh, so we can check it out. Definitely. Thank you. I'll share the YouTube link and the uh, Facebook uh, page link as well, because um, I am going to start posting on that account. Oh, it's not really an account. It's more like a page. But, um, I'm going to start uh, posting on that, updating people on, you know, covers that I post and which ones I'm going to do next. And then after I let them know, I will put the link on there. <clears throat> uh, of the actual video. Perfect. Um, Great. So where do I where do I put the link at exactly? Like where do I put it in the WhatsApp group or the Facebook group? Like anywhere you like. I mean, you can put it in all places as well, so that more people can see it. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Well, thank you. Um, so we we this is our first session. Thank you, first of all, Nicole, for, for you know, getting through this. Um, I think we all learned a lot today. Um, well, so we are ready. We are here to, to help you answer your queries and questions and try to make it easy for you. As Devaki said, she's, getting, she's practicing to get back. Um, but um, if you have any more ideas, any more topics you want us to cover, we can do this every week uh, and happy to you know share with as many people um, help us spread the message as well like if, if you can share it with your friends it's useful and we can answer more people's questions i guess yeah i mean um i was actually looking for something on google when i come across uh vip world services i was like I'm gonna check this out, see see what it's what it is, and uh, I seen a Facebook group, so I said, okay, I'm gonna join to see what all is happening here, and I'm gonna try to join these sessions as much as I can. Not sure how many I will be able to do to do because you know the time difference and everything, but uh, yeah. I will try to join these. <clears throat> Really, I really appreciate your participation. I mean, whenever you're free, whenever you feel there's a there's a way we can contribute, we can do something, we are here. We, we, are, we are here for you. You are a VIP for us. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you. Thanks again, James. No problem, really. Uh. <clears throat> if you have any more questions, any, any, any other comments, guys, uh, feel free to ask us or... Nicole, write to us, and uh, next week we will come with a new topic, probably. Yeah. All right. um, Ali, you wanna do the closing? Perfect, no worries, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, everyone who was able to be on the call. Thank you, Nicole, today was super informative. Uh, definitely, like Ishan was alluding to, we will try to, um, you know, hear your inquiries and try to tailor these kind of lessons, workshops in the future. Uh, if you can reach out uh, to us or reach us at the WhatsApp uh, group and also on our Facebook and Instagram or, or there, Twitter as well. Uh, so please do reach out and please do share. Uh, we, this will be truly helpful, these workshops moving forward as we're in the lockdown and uh, with Nicole's exper expertise will be really helpful. 
So thank you so much and definitely looking forward to next week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.